Yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video on Balboa. In this video, I'll be doing the PvP version of uh, the PvE video that I did yesterday. This is going to be a tier list of everything, breathings, and BDAs. Uh, the PvP version instead of PvE one. If you guys enjoyed the video, let's subscribe. My current goal is 7,000 subscribers. If we can do that, I'll greatly appreciate it. Also, join my Discord down below. I'll be hosting a giveaway soon. Um, so, yeah, if you're interested in that, I might do another PvP tournament. If you guys don't know, I believe yesterday or the day before, I did a PvP tournament. Um, a video might be out on that. I really just don't know right now. Um, but, yeah. If you guys enjoyed the video, like, subscribe, and let's get right into it. Okay, straight off bat, going very bottom is going to be inset. Now, I do know a lot of you guys are going to fill up the comments. It's so underrated, all of this. Um, no, it's just not good. If you're, like, amazing at the game and you can use any of these, then yeah, sure, use it. But um, other than that, it's not very good. Tamari's going to go down here as well. It's simply just not good. Now, in my personal opinion, everything else that is left is usable. Um, but yeah, so C tier, I'm going to be putting arrow. It's not bad. Um, it just doesn't really have anything special about it. Like, the combos are pretty mediocre and a bunch of other stuff. Uh, the next thing in here is going to be, personally, I think the fourth worst thing in the game out of all of these is probably going to be, like, snow. Which is wild, because, uh, snow is actually pretty good. So, I think Arrow's gonna be the only one going to see. I think everything else that is left is gonna be at least B tier plus. So, B tier snow, I personally haven't seen much PvP, but from what I have saw from it, it doesn't look too insane. Uh, the next thing that's done to be Thunder. Uh, Thunder's really good, a lot of stuns, but not crazy damage. Next thing that's gonna be water, it's pretty much the exact opposite. Really good combos, just not a lot of stun. You can get some crazy combos that I've seen a some very good people with water i feel like a good water user pretty much beats a good thunder user like almost 99 percent of the time so that's why it's gonna go here obviously if you're mediocre thunder is easier to use so thunder might be better um but yeah water i'm gonna say is better if we're looking at like the top uh players in the game now the next thing is gonna be beast which is gonna be slightly ahead of it it does just simply have better combos and better damage that's the only reason why i'm gonna personally put it higher and it's way easier to use than pretty much everything below it um, everything else that is left is pretty, no, blood. Okay, blood is going to go, um, I'll put it right below beast. It's really good. The only issue with it is they've nerfed it recently. A lot of the moves, like, are kind of, like, 50-50 if they, if they even hit most of the time. It's just not what it used to be in the last update. Um, but yeah, everything else that is left is pretty much, like, use it. I highly recommend any of this. But the first one in A tier is going to be sound. Now, sound is really good. A lot of combos, high damage. Now, the only issue with it is a lot of the stuff is very available, um, like, with a just simple dodge and a lot of it. Like, it doesn't really have crazy combo starters either. I believe it only has two combo starters, so that is why it's gonna be personally the bottom of A tier for me. Um, maybe if you're good with it, I can see it being higher. Now, right after that is going to be uh, Flame. I believe Flame just overall is better. And actually, the bottom of A is actually gonna be Mist. Now, I know I said Mist is really good. Now, the problem with Mist is just a few things. Um, there's no real way to, like, start a battle with Mist. Um, that's the main issue with it. Like, you can't really start a fight. You can, but it's just a lot harder to start a fight with Mist than it is with Sound. So, for that reason alone, I'm going to put it below Sound. Um, the combos are pretty good. It just doesn't really do crazy damage or anything. Now, the next thing is going to be Soyama or uh, Shockwave. Now, before, I thought Shockwave really wasn't too insane for PvP, but then I looked at the damage, and, like, even if it does have all that knockback, it is still really, really good for PvP, and I still highly recommend it. Um, but, yeah, the last breathing is going to be Wind. I believe all these BDAs down here are simply better for PvP. Uh, if you are going to be a PvP type of person, I highly recommend going Demon. You have more health, um, you have way more, like, capabilities to do your moves because you don't have to breathe. Everything runs off stamina now. The only issue is once when you're out of stamina, you're pretty much just dead. Um, but yeah, the last thing in A tier is going to be Swamp. Swamp is pretty good. It does have a lot of stun. Um, it does have the Puddle move, which is really good for, like, free combos and all that. But other than that, there's nothing that really sep separates it from these three. All these three have something special about them that pretty much makes them broken. Now, the first one is going to be Reaper. Reaper is super fast. Uh, if you use the ultimate, it's pretty much a free combo. A lot of damage. I believe each tick for some of my friends that use Reaper is like 35 per tick. And it obviously ticks like, I don't even know how many times, a lot. And it is going to be a free combo. It has two other free combos, which are really good for combo starting. It has a combo extender. And then it has one move that turns you invisible and you can run away. There's nothing really more that you want more than that. And it has the only special dash in the game. It has pretty much um, 
the Zenitsu clan dash but in a BDA so that's why it's obviously gonna be an S. Now the next thing is going to be Dream. Now Dream is just broken crazy combos, a lot of stun, really good, high damage on the ult, uh, pretty much any reason why you would think something is broken Dream has. A lot of stun, the only problem is one of the moves pretty much does nothing which is hypnosis i think whatever one you have to spam moves and it does like barely any damage do not use that move but everything else is insanely broken i would say dream is probably still going to be overall the best one if ice did not have its counter now the reason why ice is pretty much done to be going at the top crazy damage crazy combos and it does have the most op counter in the game the counter lasts like three or four seconds anyone that hits it you automatically counter the counter alone does 150 damage and then you can combo right after it so this is going to be my personal tier list let me know down your thoughts in the comments down below pretty much like all a and b tier can be swapped around however you prefer it but what you need to know uh wind is going to be the best breathing in my opinion now sound and Flame are still going to be really good, but I just believe Wind is overall more superior. You just have more combo centers, and you also have better starters. Um, and then these three are obviously just going to be the best. They're broken in their own ways. The only thing that I would say for sure is going to be these bottom three. They're just simply not good in comparison. But this is the tier list. Let me know down your thoughts in the comments down below. And also subscribe and join my Discord down below. But that's it for this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.